Today marks exactly 30 days since President Moon Jae-in was sworn into office. Our Hwang Ho-jun takes a look back at the past few weeks for a recap of the administration's journey so far. Since coming to power, President Moon and his chief aides have attempted to show they are different from the previous administration. The chief presidential press secretary said on Thursday that the current administration sought to answer the people who, quote, held their candles, referring to the millions of citizens who gathered during last winter's many candlelight vigils. We have a purpose of making this country worthy of being called a country where the people are in control. And that's why we're trying to overthrow authoritarianism and communicate with the people at eye level. In contrast to the ousted President Park Geun-hye, who was criticized for dodging the press, President Moon has been an active communicator, directly addressing the nation when nominating some of his key aides. And also personally visiting sites affected by his proposed policies, engaging with the public. There have been problems along the way. Moon also had to start his term without a presidential transition team. His ruling Democratic Party is also well short of a majority in the National Assembly. This has led to a painstakingly slow cabinet nomination process and rising criticism that some of the cabinet nominees failed to meet the high standards the president himself pledged during his election campaign. While faring well with his active communication and attempts to reach out to the electorate, the president still has many obstacles to overcome, the most pressing of which includes forming his cabinet under pressure from the opposition, successfully completing his very first summit with President Trump later this month, and dealing with North Korea's provocations. Hwang Ho-jun, Arirang News.